Laisse-moi t'aimer. Peur de pauvreté qui brille sans modestie dans l'ombre de la décombre. Poussière et papillons qui volent à tout vent. Rideau de la nature, écartez-vous. Peur de pauvreté, revêt-toi de ta richesse, de tes enfants. Couvre-toi de promesses vides. Corps dénudé, chiffonne-toi dans moi, mes yeux crient, mon âme supplie, douleur de sécheresse amère, douleur de multitude, douleur de ventre vide, de cœur vide, vide d'espoir de ton amour, de ton âme riche. L'âme des multitudes, viens dans moi, poussière qui vole, papillon, porteur de bonnes nouvelles. Où est l'espoir Où est l'amour Seul l'amour de tes enfants te réchauffera dans le feu froid des flammes étrangères de promesses éteintes. Seul notre souffle de mer chiffonnée dans la douleur pleure avec toi, ma patrie, mon amour. Laisse-moi t'aimer, Haïti, mon sirop de miel qui coule si doucement, mon jus de canne, mon rhum blanc qui m'enivre dans ma détresse. Ainsi s'infiltre ton cœur dans mon fiel d'abandonné. Ma goutte de clairin qui donne vie à mon âme assoupie par la solitude. Soule-moi, jus qui dégourdit, soule-moi, jus de sucre grisant, réveille mes souvenirs, dérouille mes lèvres, dérouille mes rêves, dérouille mes lèvres, fais grouiller mes chagrins, laisse couler dans mes veines le sang de ta passion. Seulement toi, ma douci, mon amour, ma serrée, Haïti. Force commune, porte au prince Haïti. Je trouve que je suis un peu enterré là-dedans. Je vais écrire à terre. Si j'ai le cœur de ma femme douce, en cœur de pigé, je suis un sec. Je dis que tout ça me demande, tout ça me décapote, tout ça me décapote, moi, juste moi, juste nous. Vente pas. Je ne veux pas dire que nous sommes loin, mais dès que nous sommes juste ça, je vais enterré ensemble. This next piece I wrote way before everything. And it's in English. It's an excerpt from a book that I wrote. Okay. And the title is When the Subway Rolls, the Drums Holler. I sat for a moment and dozed off. I saw myself in a desolated, dried up ravine, my body seeming to grow as large as the mountains. I looked up at the pregnant sky, nebulous gray balls ready to explode. When the rain began to fall, water rose to my knees. I could not stop the flood. I stretched my arms, desperately hoping to stop the disintegrating mountain sides from falling, but to no avail. Red earth came tumbling down. Far away I heard the roaring of the drums echoing the wailing of my ancestors' souls crying for unity. As the water rose, the callous ravine turned into an ebullient bloody river. I laid back and I let my body drift. All sorrow was washed away. I woke up with a sharp pain on my side. The policeman was nudging me with his stick. I have none bliss. As I awakened from the nudging stick, I knew once in my short life I had crossed the divider. Not a social, not an economic, not a political, and not even a racial divider, but I had jumped over the divider of time. If I had not been able to see unity in my life while straddling two worlds, I had seen a harmony and peace in the world where lived the spirit of my ancestors. I had traveled through the deep skies deeper than where the stars lit. I had seen the light of the moon, the light of the sleeping sun, and far away I had seen their reflections on the mountains I had long abandoned. Time and timelessness had become my friends and had erased all feelings of alienation. I had endlessly searched for a terrestrial connection from my land of birth to the foreign new world. Nowhere was I welcome. I had always belonged to the other world but unaware. The years had come and gone, and inside of me lingered the remnants of a young woman, nameless and poor in spirit, until I was awakened not by the local policemen, but by the spirit of my ancestors. The stick continued to dig on my side, deeper and deeper, and the pain grew stronger, my spirit grew even larger, arousing memories of time long gone, time I never yet always belonged to. 
I saw the passage of my ancestors in crammed boats, not once but repeatedly. I witnessed bodies thrown overboard, sick bodies, unable to continue in this earth, but strong enough to join the world of my ancestors. I saw the deep and the depth of the sea. At first, a cloudy body of water welcoming new visitors, but as we sunk deeper, all bodies unified into one spirit, the spirit of warriors who never gave up. The stick dug further inside my ribs, and like an explosion, I heard the cries of children malnourished, sickly, yet free of oppression. It was the dawn of a new age, an age of freedom and of peace. I was no longer nameless. I was a warrior. Thank you, I'm honored to be here.